and detect restoration under those circumstances, of course. Right. Detecting restoration is uh, it's actually something that you, you just really have to learn over time. If you have a collection and you've been handling books for many years and you know how it feels or how it looks, um, for the novice, it's very difficult because there can be color touch on a book, there can be some tear seals on a book that you may not see at all. There are fancy pieces of equipment you can buy, like black lights, things of that nature where you can submit your book underneath and something may show up funny or different. But there are so many, so many things to look for, uh, whether it's uh, spine work, tear seals, the glossing of the book, the heaviness of the book. Um, but that's really, it's a fine-tuned skill that only comes with looking, looking at, uh, at so many books. I, I have a colleague, uh, a very good colleague friend, who just released an e-book called Restoration Detection. And uh, you're, it's purchased, you can purchase it online, restorationdetection.com. And there's a really nice list of uh, all of the things that you, if, if you're at a convention or are looking at a collection, all of the little things that you can look for for restoration detection. But that is, it's a very difficult thing. And a lot of people, eBay and, and all these services that are being offered now that people get uh, really scammed because techniques or, or methods have not been disclosed or books that have been restored and people will put out an awful lot of money to buy a particular book and then they get it and then sure enough it has a lot of restoration. And it's very difficult to, to, to you know, go back, get refund. Sure, I mean I 